Hey guys, it's Tiffany from superchick.net and I'm going to teach you how to do, I guess you would call it the circle cutout gradient thing <laughs> that goes behind like site models and pictures and stuff. I was actually requested to do this from my good friend Charlie because she wanted to know how to do it. So yeah, basically you're going to learn how to go from this one, which literally is just a cutout and it has a gradient clothing with some outlining, that's it, into this, which is the actual tutorial. Okay. Minimize these. Okay, to start off, basically it's literally three different layers. It's going to be the first one, which has the gradient on it with the circles. It's going to be one with the pattern, and if you want, you can do this step, but you can just leave it at that. Let me delete these all. Sorry. Layer. You would come to layer. New layer. Okay. Drag that layer underneath. On the side, normally it has like this one, the rectangle one. Right click so that it brings up the circle. Make a circle in the size that you want yours to be. I'm just going to make like a medium sized one. And then come over to the fill with the white or any color and just fill it in. Okay. Then go back to the circle and just drag it to where you want it, fill it in. Drag it, fill it in. Okay? It's pretty simple. That's how I do it. I don't do this that often anymore. So if this isn't kind of the style that you want, I'm sorry, but I haven't done this in forever. I normally do the zigzag one. I'm not really a fan of this style. I can see that corner. Okay, one more. Around, obviously, this is beads. Okay, one up here around where his point of his head is. One right here. Again, just literally, you're just repeating the same step. And literally, it's just this that draw a circle and just fill it in. It shouldn't be that hard, especially since you can see what I'm doing. Fill it in. Fill it in. Ooh, did you just lose that? Oops. Where did my circle go? Undo. Oh, well, um, so obviously I just lost my circle, so draw one again. Okay. And then fill it in back to it. See, that just proves everyone messes up everyone's mouth. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay. Once you have that, you can now hit deselect. Right click, deselect. Okay, now listen closely on this step. Make sure you have the circles that you just did, okay? Make sure you're on that layer. Come up top. Go to select. Okay, when you're in select, go to load selection, and then you'll have this window right here pop up. Hit OK. All of the circles should now be selected. Okay, now on the side, where's my color scheme? Okay. Now on the side, over here, come to the paint bucket, right or right click it so you get the gradient. Your gradient should pop up. If you haven't done one, it's going to look like this. So you literally just click the little dots, use your color scheme, fill it in. You can make it more filled in if you want. Okay. Now take, once you have that how you want it, make sure up top right here it's done. You come to one of the corners and literally just drag your mouse pointer. Now that should be filled in. Now, since you have that done, come over to the layer, right click it, hit blending options. I do this. You don't have to, but honestly it will look better. I like to do angle 90, distance 0, spread 0, size 7. Okay? Keep that open. Go to stroke. I like to just do the dotted pattern. Everyone should have one. If not, I think there's one in my kit, like pattern area. 
and I like to make this on three. Okay, that's it, just three. Since it's still, duplicate that layer, and now take out three, put two, and just make it color and then white. Okay, now you have most of that done. You can now, if you want, you can do a pattern on it, actually on the same thing. Or if you see me a lot of times doing down here, I do this instead of right clicking, it's the same thing. Okay, I'll just right click, blending option, pattern, overlay. Now you need to find like, sorry I have so many patterns. Okay, find like a cheetah, that's what a lot of people do. You know, have the gray, the black and the white cheetah. On the blending option, just mess around and see how you like it. Like screen, you can see it, that's screen, which is actually pretty cute. Do it on overlay, which doesn't look great right with my theme. So I'm just going to do screen. You can either do screen, soft light, or overlay. Normally those look the best. Okay, then once that's done to your liking, you just hit OK. Okay, that's pretty much done. That's done. You can leave it just like that so it's just the cheetah showing. I'm going to take it one step more. Okay, layer, new layer, find in your brushes, like a brush you want to use like stars or peace signs, I'm using stars, and just put them all over the thingy. Make it so it's not too, too, too noticeable. Because you don't want to distract too much from the cheetah, but it's just adding a little more. Again, this is what I do. You don't have to. You could have just stopped at the cheetah. Okay. Then on that layer, right click, blending options. Now go to drop shadow. Make the angle 90, the distance 0. Spread 0. Make the size like, I'm saying either 3 or 4. Trying to, ooh, 4. Yeah, 4 looks better. And literally, you're done. To just finish it, you would literally just right click. Oh, hold on. Come up here. Right click. Deselect. Done. And there you now have the circly gradient behind it, like what it was supposed to be. You can also, if you want, you can make the stars a little lighter so it's not as noticeable, like that. Okay. And normally, like I said before, you would just put this on, you would just put this, do this while on the sign. I just don't feel like making a full sign. But if you want to do it separate, like I do know a lot of people do, you would just go to layer merge visible and then now this is able to move you could drag this onto your sign okay hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions you can ask me leave a comment below or to the right in the comment box if you did use this successfully or if you have any questions or you can add me on facebook the link is above to ask me any more farther questions okay bye